everybody. If you want to learn more about the 405 project, you can take out a pencil and write or a pen and write this down on that piece of paper. I apologize for not putting it down. There's a website. It's www.freewebs, F-R-E-E-W-E-B-S dot com forward slash save our neighborhood. All one word. Okay, thank you. www.freewebs.com forward slash save our neighborhood. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to give some very brief updates, mostly for the benefit of our assembly member. Mike, did you leave? <laughs> there he is. You listen. Oh. All right, just want to make sure you're here because. It's important you kind of get a full picture in consideration of the 405 and these other big issues we're dealing with. Um, I'm just going to quickly call uh, Nancy Khalil and Vivian Gumminer up to speak tonight uh, to give reports, uh, quick updates. Um, on the Fashion Square project, there's nothing new because we're all waiting for the city's findings contained in a draft environmental impact report. Uh, that could take us several more months, so I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we get hit with it around Christmas time. Anyway, um, the other project of particular interest is also the M. David Paul project, which is, um, I have a sneaky feeling, is kind of suffering a similar fate to the mixed-use project on Ventura Boulevard at 15222, former Mitchell Lip, uh antique store of many years ago. Well, the M. David Paul is a 500-unit condominium, multi-level uh, retail complex, and uh, I suspect with the real estate market changing, uh, both of these projects, developers could be looking into some different choices. Um, early, uh, later, I'm going to ask our assembly member to comment a bit about Senate Bill 1818, and. Uh, explain it to you guys because he's going to have a more informed perspective having been up in, <coughs> excuse me, in Sacramento. But Senate Bill 1818 um, has ominous implications because it is a law that our city council has to adopt which basically overrides all existing land use plans. So many of the projects that we've been fearful of could actually turn into bigger monsters than they already are. Um, speaking of monsters, um, the Baronies project, I, I'm getting emails and also a couple questions. Uh, when is that project scheduled for uh, demolition? I think your guess is as good as mine. It, it too could be suffering the uh, same concerns, what's going on in the real estate market. Is it really viable to build condominiums, so-called affordable ones, starting at about seven to $800,000? given the nature of the subprime mortgage market right now. Having said that, um, we've asked uh, the Sugar Notes Beautification Committee to please consider putting the Baroni's project uh, on its to-do list. Hopefully they will get in there and help clean up that despicable site. Uh, Baroni's is 88 condominium units, M. David Paul, 500 condominium units, um, the mixed use project, another 50 pro uh, condominium units. But let me tell you something, they almost pale in significance to what's going on in Encino. There are three major mixed use projects under construction right now between Sepulveda and not even Balboa. I really encourage you to take a drive down the boulevard and go look and get an idea about what's going to be coming. Hundreds of units in Encino. And if you think it's not going to impact Sherman Oaks, then you haven't been coming to Soho meetings or reading the column, because it will. There'll be a cumulative impact, there's no question. But what's so interesting about all this traffic impact, something we've been talking about, is that there's a new player in town and it's called water. Oh. It's like, is the city going to continue to approve these wholesale massive developments without requiring more water to be there to support these new developments? 
more people they say are coming here. I don't know, but one thing I do know is water is a problem. We don't have enough already now. All right, Ventura Club, yes, it's under construction. It is being remodeled. I've spoken with the architect. Frankly, it's undergone about five different internal designs for different tenants. It's supposed to be some kind of retail restaurant combination, but it's being rehabbed and it looks better in its construction state than it's looked in all these years it was left to rot. Okay, uh, there's no news of the Sherman Oaks Square. That's also a very large parcel right next door to Best Buy. Seems to be a very convenient location. And um, it's between Moore Park, River, I'm um, sorry, Moore Park, Van Nuys Boulevard, Mill Bank. It's where In N Out Burger is. And um, there's been several versions of the Grove presented to the community, but we've all been told it's not going to be the Grove. Now, this is a couple years ago. I really don't know what's happening there, so we all have to keep our ears and eyes um, and, and keep talking to these business owners. That's, and feed us the information, because sometimes what happens is there's a complete shutdown in communication between even our good council offices and the community, and the community ends up being the last to find out that plans are going forward, and then the developers come into meet with neighborhood council, they meet with Sugar House homeowners, they meet with the neighborhoods, and we're all playing a catch-up game. And I would really appreciate it. If you know something, let us know, because we're growing tired of having to keep closing the barn door. All right, um, the Buckley School, Vivian's gonna speak, Best Buy, Nancy's gonna speak, and yes, it is true, the talk you're hearing about the specific plan, um, homeowners associations are discussing a building moratorium because Unless the city deals with the problems that are facing Ventura Boulevard, then it's going to be up to the same people, many of whom were alive and functioning 20 years ago doing activism work to get the specific plan enacted, which started with the interim control ordinance, a building moratorium to stop all, slow down, stop all development on the boulevard until a handle was gotten to deal with the overdevelopment. Um, so it looks like a similar thing could very well happen again because 20 years have passed and the problems are only getting worse. So the Sugar Oaks Homeowners Board of Directors is going to be undertaking the research and deliberating whether or not we are going to join along with homeowners of Encino to call for a, a moratorium. And I would say that um, it's going to be very exciting. Either way. All right, uh, Nancy, you want to speak about Best Buy? Uh, Kevin, you want to quickly come up and then I'll let Nancy close out with, of course, our favorite subject. <laughs>